Hello everybody. If you have prostate cancer, I have one food for you that I'd like you to introduce into your diet. It is yummy, it is very healthy, it has actually numerous health benefits, and it has been shown to be effective against prostate cancer. It's pumpkins. And I know in my channel I've talked about the benefits of consuming pumpkin seeds and the different forms which we're going to talk about in this video for if you have an enlarged prostate, if you have bladder issues and urinary frequency or sexual dysfunction. I'm not only going to talk about the seeds, I'm going to tell you how both the seeds and the pumpkin fruit, you might know it as squash, are very effective allies if you have prostate cancer. Let's dive in. I have talked in other videos about the benefits of pumpkin seeds for health, that they are antioxidative, anti-inflammatory, they help control blood glucose, blood lipids, they help protect against any cardiovascular disease, they are antimicrobial, antiviral, uh, and they also have estrogenic-like effects. Is that good? Do we want estrogenic effect from the food we eat during prostate cancer? We're going to talk about that, but in the meantime, while I'm explaining, I'd like to invite you to share through a comment with the rest of the men watching this video if you have observed any health benefits, and especially if you have prostate cancer after you have started consuming pumpkin seeds. Well, the phytochemicals and the... Um, the phytoestrogens in pumpkin seeds have very powerful effects against prostate cancer. They reduce cell proliferation, so they reduce how fast prostate cancer cells multiply. They also increase programmed uh, cell death, so they can induce apoptosis, that's the programmed cell death in prostate cancer cells. They down-regulate growth factors. So in prostate cancer, there are some growth factors that are overexpressed, helping the prostate cancer to grow. They help suppress that and they inhibit angiogenesis. So now tumors, they develop blood vessels, small capillaries. That's how they feed. Pumpkin seeds have been shown to stop that process, to reduce that process in tumors. So these are some ways that these seeds can actually halt the progression of cancer. Apart from the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activities, I talked about pumpkin seeds having an estrogenic-like effect. Now, is that good during prostate cancer? Do we as men need est estrogen in our body? Um, Estrogen is very important for men. We produce it naturally and we need it for many things in our body, not just for libido, which plays a very important role there, but also many other physiological processes that take place in our body do depend on our balance of, uh, and the ratio between testosterone and estrogen in our body. However, Modern uh, lifestyle increases estrogen in men quite a lot. A lot of our foods and a lot of our environmental exposures, and I do have a book on my website, an ebook that talks about the carcinogens and different hormone disruptors um, that we are exposed to during our environment and what you should be careful of. These things increase our estrogen levels much higher than they should be and they disrupt the balance of testosterone to estrogen. Now, increases in estrogen during prostate cancer can lead to um, increased prostate cancer progression through indirect mechanisms. So what we need to do is make sure that through our diet, apart from getting the nutrients that we need, is to also make sure that we create an environment in our body 
for our body to to basically fight prostate cancer and not stimulate prostate cancer growth. The phytoestrogens in pumpkin seeds are amazing for men. Why? They stimulate the production of estrogen by connecting to our estrogen receptors, but to a, a low enough level that is very healthy for us men. It's actually the right level that we need. At the same time, because those phytoestrogens have um, connected to those receptors, they prevent other stronger estrogens, either from our food, such as from soy or beer. And actually, I'm going to talk about soy in future videos, so you can subscribe if you want to uh, get that video. They prevent stronger estrogens, either from food or from our environment, from connecting to those receptors. So not only they stimulate the estrogen production to a level that us men uh, need and it's healthy for us, but also it protects us from other stronger stimulations of those receptors because they have already they're already bound and uh, basically uh, blocking other molecules from connecting to those receptors. And again, it's, I've talked about that in other videos. It's not simply that pumpkin seeds have uh, zinc, they have copper, they have magnesium. It's not that they have antioxidants and anti-inflammatory. You can't get the benefits that you get from these foods simply by taking anti-inflammatories, antioxidants, extra zinc, extra magnesium in pill forms, extra copper. It's not only the combination of those in the right amounts that nature provides, but there are thousands of other minerals and nutrients that these foods contain that we are not aware of yet. So, for example, it has been shown that pumpkin seeds have a nutrient, it's a protein called muscatin, that inhibits the growth of human melanoma cells. So that's what I'm trying to tell you, that certain foods, certain herbs, certain plants, they have, yes, numerous benefits, and we already know why these benefits are, but you can't get those if you take isolated supplements in pill forms. You can't basically replace nature. Now, we talked about pumpkin seeds how they are very healthy, they provide a lot of health benefits, how they attack cancer directly by inducing cell program death, by reducing angiogenesis, by reducing the proliferation of prostate cancer cells, and also how they balance the estrogenic activity within us, and all those things are very important during prostate cancer. And I told you about that extra protein that was discovered that actually has anti-cancer properties. And all the things that I've said, you can find in the description in studies. They have actually done studies and they have seen that pumpkin seed extracts directly induce cell death in prostate cancer cells. Okay, you can look at that in the studies that I have provided in the description. But what about the pumpkin fruit? Is it useful during prostate cancer? Before that, if you click the like in this video, you can help spread it to those who might need it and raise awareness. And if you want to work one-to-one -one with me, um, use nutrition and exercise to reduce symptoms of enlarged prostate of, or prostate cancer. Reduce any side effects you might be experiencing from prostate cancer treatments and medications and also increase the effectiveness of those cancer treatments, you can find me on my website. Now, why do I use pumpkins, the fruit, you might know it as squash, with my clients who have prostate cancer? It's because a lot of these gentlemen need to lose body fat. And pumpkins are amazing for that. Why? I try to basically calorie dilute. I try to get them to eat large amounts of low-calorie foods. 
Pumpkins are great because they have high nutrients. They're very yummy, especially if you take things like a butternut pumpkin. You might know it as butternut squash. It's very sweet. They're heavy, and actually the stomach can sense how heavy the food is and signal uh, satiety. And you can eat large amounts of it because it has low calories. So that's a perfect combination. I get my clients to roast pumpkin in the oven. You don't need to put any oil. You just cut the, the fruit. You roast it. You can put a little bit of salt and you can have it as, as part of your roast. You can prepare bulk and store it in the fridge to eat it later. So I get them to eat with most of their dishes so they feel full and they also get nutrients but with low calories. And as we know, simply losing body fat if you have prostate cancer, will actually impact the disease. It has been shown again and again in clinical trials that losing body fat directly impacts PSA, and PSA can be used as a marker of tumor load in prostate cancer, in disease progression marker. Are the different types of pumpkin important? Which type you should take? Well, different species of pumpkins and pumpkin seeds have a slight different components and biological activities, but the major components, such as the fatty acids, the sterols, the phytoestrogens, and the tocopherols, are similar across species. So you can enjoy the pumpkin fruit that you prefer. However, and you can eat the seeds raw, okay? The seeds are great. You can make a, a cold uh, side dish, with just raw uh, pumpkin seeds, some lemon and some salt, it's very yummy. However, if you have prostate cancer, and especially if you have a, a large prostate, you also have some bladder issues, urinary frequency, urinary incontinence or sexual dysfunction, and you want to use pumpkin seeds for their biological activities, their health benefits and all the, those uh, very, very beneficial effects that I discussed and also you can find in my other videos, uh, I would suggest taking both the oil and I've told you in my other videos that I would like you to get organic, raw, cold-pressed pumpkin seed oil that comes in a dark-tinted bottle, very important. And also with my clients, I tell them to take pumpkin seed extract powder. Okay, so it's not just pumpkin seed powder, it's not just pumpkin seeds that are ground. Pumpkin seed extract powder, which is more concentrated, it has, some studies have used that instead of pumpkin seed oil. It provides uh, fiber as well, and it's less processed than the oil, even though the oil, because it's cold pressed, it's usually as virgin as possible. However, I get my clients to take both the doses individualized. So I'll go down, I'll go with them, I'll go through their medical history, their symptom severity, their diets. So I'll individualize their dose, but I get them to take both products. And you can actually find a page on my website with the products that I recommend that I found that they're the most effective and the least processed uh, on that website. So there you have it, gentlemen. I hope this video was useful. Um, please share your experience. If you are, are taking any pumpkin seed products or you're eating pumpkins and you have prostate cancer, how has this impacted your health? And please check some other videos that I talk about the differences between pumpkin seed oil and those inflammatory seed oils, the canola oils. Are they the same? You can find those videos on my page. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, keep strong and keep fighting.